today my topic is taxonomic hierarchy according to history of biological classification aristotle a greek philosopher classified different animals based on habitat and characteristics later on swedish botanist carolus linnaeus introduced taxonomic hierarchy categories during 18th century and this system of classification is followed globally till now taxonomic hierarchy refer to the sequence of categories in increasing or decreasing order kingdom is the highest rank and species is the lowest rank in the hierarchy let us have a detailed look at taxonomic hierarchy in biological classification what is taxonomic hierarchy first we should know about the taxonomy the word taxonomy is derived from the greek word taxis and nomos taxis meaning the arrangement or division while nomos means method therefore taxonomy is a branch of biology that refer to the process of classifying different living species a taxon referred to as a group of individuals or organism classified as a unit now taxonomic category and taxonomic hierarchy is the process of arranging various organism into successive level of biological classification either in a decreasing or an increasing order from kingdom to species and vice versa each of this level of hierarchy is called the taxonomic category or rank in this system of classification kingdom is always ranked the highest followed by division class order family genus and species for example in this diagram we show that the kingdom is at the top level and after that phylum next category class next order family genus and species so so in this diagram we see that the kingdom is at the highest level via the species at the lowest level now there are several categories uh, there are uh, seven main categories for example number 1 is kingdom kingdom is the highest level of classification which is derived into sub group at various level there are about five kingdoms in which all living organism are classified namely animalia planti fungi protista and monera second category is phylum this is the next level of classification is more specific than kingdom there are 35 phyla including major phyla and minor phyla in kingdom animalia for example phyla protozoa porifera arthropoda cilentrata etc and called it also next class class was most general rank in the taxonomic category until phyla wo- were not introduced kingdom animalia includes 108 classes including class mammalia reptilia apes etc however the classes used today are different from those proposed by linnaeus and are not used frequently next category is order order is more specific rank than class the order constitute more one or more than one similar families there are around 26 order in class mammalia such as primates carnivores etc then family this category of taxonomic hierarchy includes various genera that share a few similarity for example the families in the order carnivora include canidae felidae or ursidae etc next category is genus a group of similar species form a genus some genera have only one species and is known as monotypic whereas some other species having more than one species are known as polytypic species for example lion and tiger are placed under the genus panthera 
नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी स्पीशीज इट इज द मोस्ट लोवेस्ट लेवल ऑफ टेक्सोनॉमिक कैटेगरी देर आर अबाउट एट पॉइंट सेवन मिलियन डिफरेंट स्पीशीज ऑन अर्थ इट रेफर टू अ ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज दैट आर सिमिलर इन शेप फॉर्म रिप्रोडक्टिव फीचर्स स्पीशीज कैन बी फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू सब स्पीशीज सो देर आर सेवन स्पीशीज बिसाइड दीज स्पीशीज मोर रिसेंटली टू कैटेगरीज आर ऑल्सो यूज दैट इज ट्राइम एंड कोहर्ट The category cohorts comes between class and order, while the category tribes comes between family and genus. So the above seven categories, like phylum, class, order, genus, species, are known and known as obligate category. While some categories having prefix like super, sub, infra. these are called intermediate category for example super class sub class sub order infra family etc thank you